Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good morning, good morning fellow countrymen and women. Thank you for joining me on my broadcast. Now I'll be very quick about this. Now, every one of you who is watching me, and I mean every one of you without exception, has suffered some kind of theft, some kind of loss, some kind of attack from these thieves whom we have in our society. And in this festive season, in this rain season, you expect a high rise, a high rise in criminal activities, a high rise uh, in thefts, attacks, all sorts of robberies. And that's why the South African government, you know South Africa is a leading country in crime in the world. That's why the South African government has even issued a high alert this festive season. In South Africa, there is a high alert on crime. The police are, are, are cutting out sensitizations to citizens this festive season to be on a high alert as far as crime is concerned. And here in Zambia, we are not an exception. We are not an exception. Just this morning, I shared the post where the Kamala neighborhood watch caught a thief who stole uh, window frames. Early, early in the morning when it was showering. And mind you, when it is raining, when it is showering, that is the favorite time for thieves in Zambia to pounce and attack people, attack their victims, you know, uh, rob houses. That's a favorite time because everyone is, 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 you know, you, you see they're indoors, you know, they, they don't move about. So they are very free to move about. Now, I shared this post and I got quite a, a number of reactions from you, my followers. I appreciate every one of your comments. There were some of you, you surprised me with the sympathy that you have for thieves. As if you have never suffered loss. As if you have never, you don't know anybody who's ever been attacked. And unfortunately, some people have been killed by these uh, uh, criminals. So I think for me, individually speaking for myself, I'm not one who harbors any kind of sympathy for criminals. For me, a criminal is a criminal and a criminal must be treated as a criminal. And the fact that the law allows them a bit of room to be heard, you know, to be subjected to due process, lucky for them. If I had my way, if you are caught red-handed, like the thief that we caught in Kamala, red-handed with, with frames, he can't even explain where he has taken them from or where he's taking, where he's stolen them from or where he's taking them. That should be an express way to jail. In South Africa, they don't even spare these criminals. They don't even spare these criminals. But here in Zambia, we found, oh, human rights, human rights. Thieves in Zambia have got the best human rights and the best treatment. And that is why, and that is why we have now a rising problems where some officers, not of officers, but some police officers are actually conniving and colluding with these criminals at the expense of the public that they should be protecting. And I'm talking about one issue that came to my attention right after I posted my post on this thief who was caught. This is coming from as far as the Mukoshi. And follow me well. This is a story really that has really left me wondering if at all we are safe with some of these police stations and these officers who we have. Now the story coming out of Mukoshi from a lady called, um, what's her name? Nyambe something. Dora Nyambe, yes. Dora Nyambe is out on social media, TikTok, I believe, crying and complaining about how this Masansa police station has really been of, uh, of no service to them, of no help to them. Early yesterday, she, uh, her household was robbed of uh, a, a critical genset. You know, Mukushi, those are farms. Power there is not reliable. So, these thieves come in, they break in, steal a genset, on top of that, they even poison the dogs, get this genset, go wherever they went and sold it. But this, this, this community is very organized. 
and this community managed to track down the thief that had stolen the genset. They caught him. They even caught the person that had bought the stolen genset and took them to a police station called Masansa. Now, I've never heard of Masansa police station, but I want to put it on record. That Masansa, from what I've heard, Masansa police station is a disgrace to the Zambia police service. Masansa police station in Mukushi is a disgrace to the Zambia police service. Masansa, if you have an officer in charge, if you have a CIO, you are a disgrace to the uniform of the Zambia police service. Mind you, you officers must be reminded that where you are, the uniform that you wear, the oath that you took when getting in that office, you swore allegiance to the President of the Republic of Zambia to serve him diligently, honestly, without fear or favor. But you are there busy favoring criminals. Because what did you do about this case that was brought to you about a stolen genset? They caught the criminal who stole it. They even caught the person who bought it. What did you do about it? You released them. Instead, what you do is you go and arrest the people that arrested the thief and say you have no right to arrest them. You are a disgrace to the Zambia police service. You are a disgrace to the uniform of the police service. And you are a disgrace to the head of state whom you report to. And I, for one, being a councillor here in Kamwala, being also a member of the United Party for National Development, I will not sit back, I will not stand down and watch you disgrace the reputation of the head of state, disgrace the reputation of the police, because ultimately people, when they've got problems, people, when they are suffering thefts, they look to their elected leaders to do something where it fails. And usually the police, they fail. The only recourse that you have, you can't even look to police officers uh, to, 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 I mean, to police service and say, here is your police officer, this is what you did. Can you please give us justice? Can you please punish this officer? How many times have you ever seen a police officer who has colluded with criminals being brought to book expeditiously or swiftly by the service? Not me. Unless maybe it's aggravated robbery, that's when you see them running around because the stakes are high. In these kinds of th the thefts, eh, normal household breakings, it's like there's a code amongst the police to say, no, you have to protect your fellow officer. These particular ones, and I want you to hear me, and I want you to share this video. I want this video to share, to reach uh, Dora Nyambe. I've asked for a number, maybe she's still sleeping or she's working, but Dora, if you're watching, give me your number. And I want you to give me the name of that police station the officer in charge i want you to give me the name of the officer in charge i want you to give me the name of the cio the chief investigation officer i want you to give me the name of the dealing officer the person that you reported to these three names the person that you reported to the dealing officer the name of the cio and the name of the officer in charge i want those names and i'm going to take this personal i'm going to take this personal i'm going to take this right up to the minister of home affairs and I'm going to share these names publicly because you officers in Masansa there, Mkushi, you are a shame. Yes, we've heard of many of these things happen. The last time I spoke about officers, some corrupt officers who are a disgrace to the service was in Kafiwe. Eh? God through me and the police station where this may have so rest in peace. This young girl aged 15 years was uh, gang raped by 13 criminals who were let scot free. They were let scot free. Up to this time, the school too, they are still scot free. The police has never given us a report. Eh? We have never given us a report. Varea Monga has never given us a report on what happened to those officers who took three uh, Utubushi to Tatuat. What do you call them? Gods. Got three gods and the three pin as payment for the death of a young girl at age 15. And they released the criminals. We have never released the, we have never gotten a report. Our job as elected leaders is to issue checks and balances on the institution that is supposed to save the people. And I won't miss my words. For far too long, and far too many officers have been in the habit of colluding with criminals, like those officers at Masansa Police Station in Mukushi, who have colluded with criminals. They brought you a, 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 a suspect, that's what you call them, but red-handed, na generator, we a generator E. They bring you that suspect with a generator to say, this is the thief, and this is the person who also bought the generator. What do you do? You catch the people, the neighborhood, who brought you that particular thief. And you say, no, you are the ones who are wrong. How do, why did you arrest them? 
a clear case of collusion and corruption and moral degradation in the police service in Masansa in particular. I would want to know what the councillor, if Masansa is a word, I want to know what the councillor of Masansa is thinking about it. If there's an MP there, I would want to know who's the MP of Mukushi, maybe Mukushi Central, and what he's thinking about it. If there is a district commissioner there, and I know there's a district commissioner in Mukushi, sir, I want to know have you heard about this case and what are you doing about it? Because our people, when they are let down by the police, they must have a recourse of where to go and report, and they must see justice. So this particular Masansa must this station must be disbanded. These are the issues where you see people rise up and go and yes, Katete is an example. Katete is an example. What happened in Katete to those officers was very unfortunate and uncalled for. But the underlying things that cause people to behave in such an uncalled for manner is when they feel that a particular officer or a particular police station are colluding and collaborating with criminals and are denying them justice in a very obvious way. So Masansa Police Station, what do you want the people to do there in Masansa Police Station after this kind of case has been reported to you and clearly you are siding with criminals? I'm calling upon the police command here in Osaka, the Inspector General, Vare Hamonga, been to your office a few times. Please look into this issue, find out what happened and discipline these people, discipline these officers. Make sure that genset is recovered, that suspected criminal is put in chooks together with the one who bought the genset because buying stolen property means you are also also part to a crime you are also part to a crime now what are they saying what is dora nyambe saying she's saying that these guys are now these criminals are scot free and they are now harassing them at night breaking windows breaking doors poisoning their dogs their life is at risk the police in Masansa is going to wake up when they hear to say that dora nyambe and her children have been murdered right there in the house and then they're going to say, no, we are looking for the suspected criminal. That's when they are going to wake up. When you hear that Dora Nyambe, somebody who reported the thief to the police station in Masansa there, and you police, you let her go. When she's murdered in there with her children, they already have murdered her dogs. When they are going to murder her there in her house, that's when you are going to jump up and say, we didn't know about it. But you know about this. She has spoken about this. And I'm speaking about this. What are you going to do about it? So all in all, I'm waiting for Dora Nyambe, if you are watching, get in touch with me. Inbox me on my page. Those that are watching, share this broadcast. Share, share, share. Because I want to get to the bottom of this. I'm a Zambian citizen and I feel passionately about theft. Because every day as councillor here in Kamala, yesterday I was at a scene of theft where three houses were broken into. They broke into a house, people are sleeping, they steal a laptop. Huh? The other one here, they stole Zesco cables. The other one here, they stole a stereo in the vehicle. This is just Kamala. One small word, all these things are happening. This morning, they stole a, a window frames. You have seen that video that I've shared. Crime is on the rise. And when crime is on the rise, people look to the police for solutions. Let the police get on top of this issue there in Masansa. And Dora, I want the name of the officer in charge there, the CIO, and the officer whom you reported to. The nation is going to know their names. And I'll make sure that even the president knows their names. If they have got the protection in between where they are and the president, if they have got protection of friends that they have, it's not going to work. Those names are going to land at State House. I'll be waiting for them. Thank you very much for listening to me. Stay safe and be cautious this safe festive season. Make sure all your doors are locked, your grill doors are locked. If you don't have grill doors, please put grill doors. Always have your phone in hand and the number to call in case you are attacked or in case you are robbed. Avoid walking in isolated areas at awkward hours stay safe hope to see you next year please take care of yourself thanks and god bless all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.